Let's find out what's happening right now with lawmakers and these bills to reopen the government. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel is on Capitol Hill tonight. Good evening, Mike. Brett, good evening. Once there's an agreement, things move very quickly here on Capitol Hill. This bill has cleared the Senate, should pass the House very soon, and then be sent up to the president to sign to get furloughed feds back to work. We're grateful to Democrats on both sides of the Capitol uh, for their unity. A victory lap for the top Democrats for holding the line on the partial shutdown. With government reopening in a hurry, the hope is the State of the Union address will be rescheduled soon. The State of the Union is not planned now. <laughs> the Senate Majority Leader is warning Democrats must be serious or else. The only way the federal workers are going to have stability and certainty beyond the next three weeks the only way our border is going to have real security is if Democrats will stop playing partisan games and get serious about negotiating with the president on a long-term compromise. And supporters of the president are praising him for being the grown-up in the room. What is happening here today is that the president put the American public first, that the president said, let's go pay the federal employees and let's get into a meeting room because we've tried to meet with uh, the speaker and, and Schumer and they will not negotiate on anything. North Carolina Republican Congressman Mark Meadows saying if negotiations don't result in a solution, executive action is still very much under consideration. But the Democrat chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, Benny Thompson, says Democrats remain committed to effective border security, but will only allow taxpayer money be spent on border security measures that will actually make a difference. Yeah! Lawmakers were clearly feeling the pressure hearing about the impact of the partial shutdown from constituents and seeking a way out. The real ramifications of a shutdown are, are starting to be seen. It's not simply an aggregating effect. I think you'll see a cascading effect. A Homeland Security spokeswoman says back pay should start flowing to employees there within two to three business days, so by mid next week. Payroll issues vary by agency, so the advice to employees is to check with your bosses. Brett. Mike Emanuel, live on the Hill. Mike, thanks.